Greetings, this is Earthman from Origami's Living Soil, the servant of the Most High God, the Great I Am, the Lord of Hosts, the Lord of Glory. And believe me, He is worthy of glory and honor and praises. And, um, I mean, you could just look around at nature around us and just see the perfection that God has set up for us on earth, the air the sun, the water. There is no other planet on anywhere like this in the universe. And he made it specially for us. Why? Because he loves us. And, um, well, what we're going to talk about, we're going to do a little experiment here. And we're going to talk about vesicular, arbuscular, mycorrhizal, uh, particularly glumus endo. Um, VAMs uh, is a fungus that helps penetrates the roots of a vesicular plant in order to help them capture nutrients from the soil. Also, these fungi are scientifically well known for their ability to uptake and transport mineral nutrients from the soil directly to the host plant. Approximately 80 to 90 percent of all plant species need mycorrhizal, mostly um, most economically important crops uh, have known to have symbolic relationships with them if they're grown properly. Um, that means if the mycorrhizal is introduced at an early time or if the mycorrhizal happens to be in that area to begin with. Uh, this mutually beneficial partnership between the plants and the soil fungi has existed for a long time, but it just as a recently, we're starting to find out the reality of how awesome this stuff is that God has made. Unfortunately, beneficial mycorrhizae are destroyed. A lot of mycorrhizae has been destroyed in nature because of human man-made landscaping and just tearing up the land, ripping it up and just exposing them to the sun and just killing them. Um, and you know that's you know that's man for you you know just destroying what God has made that's our sin nature and that's what we do but um, God loves us nonetheless and um, so what happens is we have to reintroduce these to the soil uh, and you do this at a very young age of a plant right from the get go uh, mycorrhizal what they do is they colonize a root system and then they form a vast network of filaments that reach out. And they uh, transport moisture and nutrient, mineral, trace mineral, nutrients, phosphates to the roots, right into the root system. And it's just an amazing thing that God has set up here. Some benefits of mycorrhizal is, uh, you know, the increased uptake of water. Uh, mycorrhizal helps plants uh, become more to uh, drought tolerant and be able to recover better from uh dr you know drying out and stuff believe me i know this i have tested this many times and um it's just amazing the difference between a plant with mycorrhiza and without and uh, and just what happens and you know uh they uh they break down nutrients and they transport them right into the root system they also encourage root growth they also, <laughs> I can go on and on, they protect the root system from ro uh, root rot and different type of parasitic nematodes. Um, and like I said, they improve uptake of water and nutrients. Uh, there's been numerous studies that demonstrate that VAM fungi uh, improves the plant's ability to tolerate stress of all sorts, but mainly, like I said, like drought stress and... Um, Another thing they do, like I said, they reach out, the filaments reach out, and they help break down different type of uh, trace minerals, mainly a lot of phosphates and stuff, which is a very important part of a plant's growth. And, um, and they just uh, extend the root systems way beyond where the root systems could call, uh, can go, which is called the depletion zone. And so, um, as you can see, I mean, mycorrhizal... Uh, uh, is a great thing to have uh, with your plants. So what do we have here? We have some uh, vesicular, uh, arbuscular mycorrhizal. Sorry about that. I'm still learning how to say that properly. And, um, and what we're going to do is right here, I have some potato dextrose agar. Uh, that I made earlier today. I think I made it a little bit thick, but um, I think it'll do the trick. And I put it into this 
um, clean container, um, uh, never used, and that way, you know, I don't have anything else growing on it. I kept it covered until now this experiment. And so I, I didn't want any contamination in there. The only thing I wanted in there was the VAMs. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle the VAM on top of the potato uh, dextrose agar. And I'm going to cover it up. And then in about uh, five days, maybe less, maybe more, I'm going to come back to this experiment. And we're going to see what happens when we introduce mycorrhizal to potato dextrose agar. And uh, we're going to try to grow some mycorrhizal. And um, I've done this before, and it has been successful, but I'm going to do this for you guys so you can see. Now, what am I going to do with this? I don't know what you can do with this, but uh, you, I think you can just mix it in right with your soil. Um, put it right by the root system and uh, watch it go. Or the best way, you know, the, what most people do, they will um, just sprinkle this around a root system because your roots have to have contact with the mycorrhizal in order for the inoculation to happen. Now the inoculation doesn't happen right away, but it takes a while, maybe like a few, uh, about three weeks to a month. But once it kicks in, watch out, because then you're going to see that plant just go crazy, just get huge. And you will see the difference between a plant with mycorrhizal and without mycorrhizal in the wild. And you will tell that the one with mycorrhizal will do much better. So let's go ahead and sprinkle this on there. All right. I'm going to sprinkle it on the potato dextrose agar. There you go. Not an even amount, but a pretty good amount. You know, I'm trying to get the whole thing there. I don't think I'll need it all. I'm going to save some of this. This stuff is great to have around. I mean, if you have do any type of organic growing, my friends, you, this is one of the bacteria you, should, you want into your um, profile. And, um, you know, along with uh, uh, IMOs and... Um, lactate bacteria and photosynthetic bacteria, yeast bacteria. There's a lot of different bacteria and fungi that you want in your plant. But this is just one of the tools that God has given us. Sorry about the blurry vision here. I, I'm going to work on getting a better phone. But uh, I'm going to end this experiment. And I'll come back in about a week, a little less or so. And we're going to see what happens if there's any colonization. May God bless you and your family and your plants. And may the, you know, may your plants, if you grow using uh, the things of nature, and they, if your plants grow huge and large, don't thank yourself. Thank God, because it's his soil. We didn't make it. He did. And we'll give him glory. And so may you be blessed in Jesus' name, because he is the King of Kings.